Hello and welcome to a new episode on Cooked with Love. Today's recipe is one of the very famous Indo-Chinese recipes that is loved by all. Let me show you how I make a restaurant-style chili chicken at home. You need 250 grams of boneless chicken along with these ingredients for marination. And these are the vegetables that you will need. And for the sauce, you need these ingredients. Lastly, you need about 75 to 100 ml of chicken stock to make the gravy. I showed how I make an Asian style chicken stock at home in my last video and you can go and check it out. Now on to the preparations. You should know that preparation is the most crucial part in any Chinese cooking. Chop up one medium sized capsicum into about 1 inch squares. Cut out the basal white part of the onion and cut them into squares almost as the same size as that of the capsicum. Separate out the onion petals as much as possible. Now take 2-3 to three stalks of spring onion and chop up the white part finely. Take about 10 grams of ginger and chop it up finely. Chop 12 grams of garlic finely as well. Some of this garlic will be used in the marination of the chicken. Hence, I have taken a little bit more garlic than that of the ginger. Finally, slate 4 to 5 green chilies and make a paste of 2 green chilies for marinating the chicken. Arrange all the cut vegetables in one plate so that you have everything ready at hand while cooking. Take 250 grams of boneless chicken, preferably chicken leg as it's much more juicier than breast meat. I have shown how to debone a chicken leg at home in my previous video and you can check that out as well. Cut the chicken into about 1 inch cubes. Don't cut the chicken into larger pieces as you will have problem with cooking. Place them in a bowl and marinate the chicken with 1 third teaspoon of salt, some pepper powder, half teaspoon dark soy sauce, green chilli paste, some minced garlic and one egg white which as you can see I miserably failed to separate from the yolk. You know mishaps always happen in the kitchen while you are cooking but you need to improvise in the moment and take it all in good spirits. Mix everything well with the chicken and let it rest for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's make the sauce. Mix 2 teaspoons of dark and light soy sauce, some black pepper, tomato sauce, some green chilli and red chilli sauce, a pinch of MSG and half teaspoon of vinegar. Mix it all well and then add about 75 ml of chicken stock. Keep the rest aside and add it if you need later while making the gravy. You can also replace the chicken stock with plain water. Make a cornstarch slurry by mixing some water to 1 tablespoon of corn flour. Back to the marinated chicken. Add 50 grams of corn flour to the marinated chicken and massage it well. It should be a thick marinade with the corn flour sticking well with the chicken. Now let's proceed on to the cooking. Take a wok or a karhai, add sufficient oil to deep fry the chicken. I have used an iron karhai which is a very close option to a Chinese wok. Once the oil is hot, add the chicken pieces and fry them in 1 or 2 batches on medium heat for about 5 minutes. Once they are golden in color, take them out and place them on a kitchen towel. Let them rest for 5 minutes and then add them back to the oil and fry them for a second time for 5 minutes more till they are golden brown in color. This double frying method ensures that the chicken pieces are very crispy. The rest of the cooking will happen very fast. Add 4 tablespoons of oil back to the same karai. Keep the heat to the highest and add the chopped ginger, garlic and spring onions. Fry briefly for just a minute. Add the slit green chilies as well. Add the onions and stir fry for 3 to 4 minutes till the onions turn slightly translucent. In goes the diced capsicum and fry again for 2 to 3 minutes.
add the sauce that you had prepared and let it boil for a minute. At this stage, add some more chicken stock if the liquid seems less. Now add the cornstarch slurry and you will see the gravy thickening instantly. Add in the chicken pieces and stir the gravy for 1 minute. And your chili chicken is ready. Garnish with some chopped spring onions on top. Serve it hot with some fried rice or some noodles. Enjoy and stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe if you like our content.